हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे टेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर लीड को चैलेंज एंड टू डेज क्वेश्चन इज अर्थमेटिक स्लाइसिस टू एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई दोज सब सीक्वेंसेस व्हिच आर फॉर्मिंग एन एपी प्रोग्रेशन देर इज अ मिनिमम कंडीशन टू इट देर हैज टू बी एटलीस्ट थ्री एलिमेंट्स इन इट सो वी नीड टू टेल द काउंट ऑफ ऑल दो सब सीक्वेंसेज दैट लैंड अप इन एन ए so let's try and understand it by an example here we are given elements as 2 4 6 8 10 and what all possible aps can be generated out of this with a minimum size of 3 the count is 7 and these are as follows 2 4 6 4 6 8 6 8 10 2 4 6 8 4 6 8 10 2 4 6 8 10 and 2 6 10 10. where the difference can vary depending upon uh, what ap is it For example, here the difference d is two, here the difference d is four. The difference is not of much interest to us, but the AP count is what we are interested in. Without much ado, let's try and look at the presentation that I have created for this, and let's get started. Arithmetic slicing to sub sequence lead code four four six. Also, this is a hard question on lead code. However, I believe it's somewhere around medium to hard level category. Uh, apart from this we have already solved arithmetic slicing one question so i would recommend you guys to have a look at that question it's also i'm attaching the link to the video in the comment section below so let's get started there is a very strong hint that is specified in the question that will help us identify the approach that we need to follow and that hint is nothing but sub sequence we are interested in finding the count of arithmetic sub sequence that are possible and Uh, from the past history we already know whenever uh, there is a sub sequence kind of a problem where we need to generate the count we follow the order of n square approach the ij approach that we have already solved in various questions for example one such question was longest increasing sub sequence to partition partition equal subset problem and plenty more that we have done in the past so let's try the same approach of keeping track of two pointers i and j and for every ith new entry for example this is the ith new entry we will check all the possibilities starting from the zeroth index of j up till the ith index of i so for each i j i trades over 0 1 2 3 up till i let's start the iteration here i have taken a slightly different example to what was specified in the question the elements are 5 3 4 5 7 9 and let's take two pointers i and j for the first iteration i is at zeroth index there are no elements prior to this element so we can safely ignore this so let's start with the next iteration here the value of i is 1 and we'll have another loop starting from 0 up till uh, less than i so j points to 0 and 0 is less than i uh, therefore we'll do the comparison what is the comparison that we are going to do we will calculate the difference between the ith element and the jth element so the jth element minus the ith element what is that value 5 minus 3 is 2 and we will store how many times the same frequency has occurred in complete processing of all j's so this is occurring for the very first time 5 minus 3 so the frequency of this particular diff happens to be 1 so we'll add 2 comma 1 to our map and it will correspond to 5 minus 3 let's move ahead in the next iteration and then i'll tell you how is this helping us in identifying the ap sequences so let me just erase this and here for the next iteration we have i as 2 and the initial value of j is 0 so let's draw the comparison the difference between the jth element minus the ith element is 1 and since Uh, this entry doesn't exist the map here therefore it's a fresh entry and we'll add the frequency as 
फाइव माइनस फोर इज वन एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी वुड बी वन लेट्स मूव द पॉइंटर ऑफ जे टू द नेक्स्ट इंडेक्स जे पॉइंट्स टू वन वॉट इज द एलिमेंट एट ए ऑफ जे इट इज थ्री थ्री माइनस फोर इज माइनस वन एंड सिंस इट इज अकरिंग फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम देर फोर विल एड द एंट्री इन द मैप एज माइनस वन कॉमा वन लेट्स कंटेन द प्रोसेस let me just erase it and here the value of i becomes 3 or what is the value of j the value of j becomes 0 so let's start the iteration 0 5 minus 5 is 0 and it's occurring for the very first time therefore we'll add a new entry in the map 0 comma 1 let's continue the process the next element that we have is 3 Three minus five is minus two, and it's occurring for the very first time. So we'll add a new entry minus two comma one. Let's continue the process. The next element that we have is four. Now comes the special case. The jth index is at four, and the ith index is at five. So what is the difference between four minus five? It is minus one. Why is it special? Because you you see the same difference in a map entry. At the fourth index, which is three minus four, so three minus four leads to the difference of minus one. Four minus five also leads to the same difference of minus one. Can we join these two? The answer is yes. And what we are going to get? We'll get an AP because the difference is same. These are the properties of AP, and we have new row created three, four, and five, which is a new sequence that we got. so how do we mathematically compute this up what we are going to do we'll check the difference and as soon as we know the difference we will try and look at all the entries in the map uh, if the same difference also exist at a of i then we will extract its frequency and add it to an uh, to our result so result becomes 1 also we will need to update the frequency of minus 1 at fifth index and the value would be uh, whatever frequency is extracted uh, at the fourth in fourth index uh, which is 1 plus higher than that one higher than that because a new entry is coming up at 5 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so we'll add 2 here and these these this two signifies one entry as 4 minus 5 and the other entry as 3 Minus four, comma minus five. I'll tell you the significance of these two entries. Whenever let's hypothetically assume there comes a six in the subsequence at some place, then we will use these two entries to form an, a higher count of result. So uh, we'll talk about it as we progress ahead. Uh, let's move in ahead to the next iteration. the next index is 7 and uh, the value of i is 4 we'll start the iteration from the 0th index of j so j points here the value is 5 5 minus 7 is minus 2 since it's a fresh entry uh, we'll add minus 2 comma 1 in the map let's continue the process next we have is 3 3 minus 7 is minus 4 since minus 4 doesn't exist here We'll add a new entry in the map as minus four comma one, which signifies three minus four, three to four. Let's continue the process. Next we have is four. A uh, four minus seven is minus three. We'll add a new entry in the map as minus three comma one because minus three doesn't exist here at this position. Uh, let's move ahead. The next entry is five. Let me just change the color of pen because it's a different case now. And five minus seven is minus two. So what do you see? You will see that minus two already exists as an entry at five. So we'll extract that information, and we will form our. Let's see how we have an entry three hyphen five at the fifth index, and it corresponds to a difference of minus two. also we have an upcoming entry as minus 2 again uh, by virtue of 5 hyphen 7 and using these two entries we can form an ap so we have 3 hyphen 5 here 
and new entry is coming up 5-7 so if we concatenate these two entries we'll get a new entry as 3-5-7 which becomes a probable answer so what do we need to do we need to increment the answer variable uh, by one more entry and the answer variable gets updated to 2 how will we extract it mathematically we will extract we'll find out the difference first the difference between the jth index and the ith index is minus 2 and we will check its frequency in the map present at the fifth index so the frequency is 1 and we will add it to our answer because uh, the, uh, this is the frequency that will correspond to the increment or the updation in the answer Apart from this, we need also need to update the frequency of the map entry that exists at minus 2 comma 1 and uh, what will be that value? Uh, that value would be equal to the frequency at this particular index which is 1, the frequency that already exists in the map because there is also there also exists already exists an entry 5 hyphen 7 in the map so we will add 1 to it. And since it's a new upcoming entry 5-7, so one more for that. So we'll have this updated to minus 2 comma 3. So this gets deleted and minus 2 comma 3 gets added. So let me just tell you what all entries is 3 stored against. The first one is this one 5-7. So one is for this. The other one is for 3, 5 and 7 so 3 hyphen 5 hyphen 7 and the last one is for this 5 hyphen 7 as a result of which we updated the frequency to 3 let's move ahead in the iteration and let me just do some cleanup let's move ahead with the next iteration the index of i points to 9 and uh, we'll start from the 0th value of j up till the 4th index so let's start from here 5 minus 9 is minus 4 uh, since there is no entry at the 5th index it's a fresh entry we'll add minus 4 comma 1 to the map uh, let's move ahead for the next iteration we have 3 3 minus 9 is minus 6 there is no entry as minus 6 here so we'll add a fresh entry as minus 6 comma 1 let's move ahead to the next iteration 4 minus 9 is minus 5 minus 5 doesn't exist here nor here so we'll add a new entry minus 5 comma 1 and let's move ahead the next entry that I see is 5 5 minus 9 is minus 4 and uh, do we see any entry here we don't see any entry here therefore uh, what we are going to do we will simply update the entry that exists against minus 4 from 1 to 2 because one entry is for 5 minus 9 this 5 minus 9 the other entry is for this 5 minus 9 so this gets updated to 2 and let's move ahead the next element that I see is 7 7 minus 9 is minus 2 so do I see any minus 2 entry here? Yes, the, there is an entry which is minus 2 comma 3 and let's use this information to form our answer. How are we going to do that? Let's see. So we have 5, 7 already exists in the map twice and we have 3, 5, 7. Uh, we have an upcoming entry as 7 comma 9 in my difference and uh, let's concatenate and form the result using this entry uh, if I concatenate it with 5 hyphen 7 I'll get 5 hyphen 7 hyphen 9 twice by one by virtue of this other by virtue of this so it's a repeated entry and the third one would be 3 5 7 and 9 3 5 7 and 9 so how much increment is 5 making to the answer? It's making an increment of 3 elements. Therefore, we, this gets updated from 2 to 5. The answer is 5. This is our result.
So what is the takeaway from this complete process? The takeaway is pretty straightforward. Uh, you, the first thing that you're going to do is to calculate the difference of against every value of j versus value of i. And once you know that difference, you will check the map that is stored at the jth index. Whatever map is stored at jth index, you'll try and check if this difference exists in that map or not. If it does, you'll extract its frequency and update our result. Also, you will update the frequency against the same diff at the ith index as well. And what would be the, its value? So the first thing that you're going to do is to check if the same difference entry exists at the ith index, it does. Uh, so let's call it n1 and let's extract that information at that frequency. Similarly, you will check if the same difference already exists in some entry in the map at the jth index. If it does, you will combine them together n1 plus n2 and you will add one more extra for the current entry that you found. So n1 plus n2 plus 1 would be your value against that diff. Let's talk about this particular case. What would be the entry stored against minus 2 here? So we were at 7. The jth index was 7. So you will check the frequency at a 7 against the difference minus 2 which is 3. So you got n1 as 3. Does n2 exist in this map? There is no entry as minus 2 here. So n2 value is 0 and you'll add one more to it for the new upcoming entry. So that turns out to be 4. And shall I iterate what all values are, sig are signified by 4? Let's do that. So the first one is 7,9 because this leads to a difference of minus 2. Next one is 5-7-9 and since there were two entries of 5-7-9 so we'll add it two times. 1 signified by this particular 5 and the other signified by this particular 5 and the last entry is 3-5-7-9 and in case a new arithmetic progression is formed the size will always be greater than 3 because the size here minimum size here is 2 so you don't need to take care about the size constraint because it is automatically being handled by the logic now let's move on to the coding part and if you have doubts everything will be crystal clear there the first thing that i have done here is to define my answer variable next is the length of the input array that is given to me here i have defined a map of integer comma integer its key would be the difference its value would be the frequency and why I have taken an array because at each entry I need to create and keep a separate map. I start the iteration from i equals to 0 up till i less than length and I allocate memory to the ith index of the map. Uh, this is the inner loop as we do in the longest increasing subsequence problem and other uh, two pointer approach loops problem. Uh, the loop starts from 0th index goes up till ith index j++. I calculate the difference between the jth element minus the ith element. If this difference is beyond the integer capacity, I skip this difference. Otherwise, I cast it back into integer. I calculate the frequency in the map. If this difference exists at the map of ith index, I calculate the frequency if this difference exists at the jth index. And once I have these two information, I'll update my answer with the value that I got from the map at the jth index and add it to my answer. Also the updated frequency would be equal to n1 plus n2 plus 1. I put it back at the ith index at the same difference in the map. So once I'm done with the loop, I return the answer and this is it. Let's try this up. Accepted. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.